by ingesting the 12 months worth of data you send. That's about two terabytes worth. Wow. What you're looking at now is a typical midweek traffic flow. Green is good, orange indicates slower than average, red is heavy. Now we can manually input a range of external factors. Wet weather, public holidays, RDOs for the industrial sector. Breakdown on a major arterial. That's pretty impressive. So we've taken your project. The road upgrade, extra lanes, on and off ramp lengthening. We've factored in all those improvements. So starting with current flow during peak, then during construction, some problems. Of course. And then when it opens, oh, that's brilliant. Amazing. And with the machine learning, we can keep it going. Year two, year three, year four. Wait, wait, what's going on? What happened? Where'd the green go? What happened? Why does the traffic get worse? Have you heard of the Jevons paradox? I'm hoping they're a death metal band. It basically states that the better you make something like a road, the more people will use it. Isn't that a good thing? No, it means you spend a lot of money now for a very short-term benefit. So there is some benefit? Oh, sure. Average travel times crossing the city will be cut by two and a half minutes. Or a little less. Call it two. Really? And that lasts for 14, 15 months. Then declines. Uh, no, stays flat. Then declines. Well, for $300 billion, I guess we were hoping for something a little more dramatic. Two and a half minutes. Call it two. You don't look happy.